Nathan and Davis had the wad of bills we stole from Nathan's grandpa's work coat. So when they let us down the block to hop in, we followed because we were thirsty and had no idea our friend Alex, who was black, would minutes later have his chest on the pavement. A stranger's hands scaling his waistline and thighs while the rest of us would watch from the sidewalk with our tongues pretzeled like the barrels of cartoon rifles and I was nine years old. On the verge of a 15 year obsession to prove I was not whatever it was that kept me off the pavement alongside Alex. First, by quitting classical piano lessons and growing my hair out and studying the blues, then traveling across continents with groups of quasi-guilty Christians to build schools in Peru, or community schools and centers in Israel, or soccer fields in Mexico, or wherever the fuck, and then to work up the nerve to rock matching track suits every day in the upper lot at Pioneer High School, and basketball jerseys two sizes too big, and to start drinking 40s of old English malt liquor like Ice Cube, with kids who lived in Eagle Point and West Maple, and reciting two short verses to my crush at the bus stop I started smoking so much weed before school that I got suspended for vomiting in the trash can before my third period English class and had to go to summer school, which I really used as an opportunity to distribute the first of many mixtapes in my very serious rap career <laughs> that I swore would be my ticket out of here on which I used spoonfuls of words my mother did not understand until I landed in college and registered for classes where I was the only white person. And a professor asked me to share the earliest memory I had of race. And so I told her the story of Nathan and Davis in the stranger's hands. And she asked why whiteness made me so uncomfortable. And I said, it doesn't. And then I said, because I don't think about it. And she said, not having to think about something sounds like an amazing privilege. And then I started seeing kids who looked just like me everywhere, whose entire lives were bending into knots like the barrels of cartoon rifles, just to prove they weren't whatever it was that kept me off the pavement when I was nine, which is to say guilty for something they didn't do which is to say I never owned slaves, I'd never say the n-word, I don't see color anyway, or I don't have a race, which is to say the option forever of silence. <laughs>